When a company is opening up a, a new office in China, or maybe they're opening up their first office in China, how important is the workplace environment and, and culture for that office? And what can architects, developers, designers do to make sure that it's best suited for these kinds of new businesses that relocate or start in China? It's very essential to have an effective workplace that, to attract the kind of innovative and creative young people, particularly in China, to come and work for a company that is growing and wants to grow very rapidly. So the developers need to create and provide a building that will have the opportunity to make that kind of a workplace that these businesses can actually use to attract these talented and innovative young people. And how do they do that? I mean, what are some of the most important elements mm. that it takes to get that attraction? I would say the Internet of Things is critical. Hmm. Uh, this society particularly is the young people uh, are particularly hands-free, they're the old idea of a workstation that you work in constantly is old-fashioned. They are mobile, they work on their cell phones, they work on their smartphones. They don't need to carry money because they can pay for things through their smartphones. <laughs> so mobility in the sense of being able to work practically anywhere in the physical environment and having the choice of where you want to work at a particular time with which colleagues is really, really important. So I guess that brings up the question then, though, why have an office at all? How does the office adapt to this idea of people working remotely? Okay, what has happened is that the individual working on a process alone is becoming less and less a part of the population of an office. More and more of those individual tasks that are somewhat repetitive are being automated, taken care of by robots. So the office becomes more and more a place where a group of people can get together, they can collaborate anywhere in the office. T team working becomes a much more normal approach. Yes, there are a few people, there are accountants who are doing a very important, fairly routine piece of work, and maybe they need to have a fixed position, but there are fewer and fewer jobs that are like that. Everyone wants to move around and collaborate mm -hmm. as needed. Sure, that makes sense. I'm also thinking collaborations, that sounds a lot like meetings, but We've probably all been in meetings that we thought went on too long or were unnecessary. What kind of collaboration, especially as it relates to the interior design of a workplace, um, do you see besides just meeting in a conference room, for example? <laughs> the room itself is not really very important anymore. There are, of course, need, a need for some rooms for large formal meetings and so on, but collaboration can take place on a stairway. It can take place in any sort of an open office design, but you have to create the atmosphere and the connectivity, the technical connectivity that will allow that to happen. Speaking of technical connectivity, what specific technologies do you think are most exciting that will create the biggest changes in future workplace environments in China or around the world? Well, certainly because people are working in different geographic locations, the interactive screen, and I think very soon it will be the interactive VR. Hmm. These become very, very important. People are not just working in one spot anymore. The, the global connections, the nationwide connections are, are really very relevant to the way they're working. So you think people will be using virtual reality in five years the way that they might be using Skype now to talk to oh, an yes. international oh, yes. client? Oh, yes. Yes. Huh. Yeah. What sorts of jobs do you think would benefit the most from that? Anything with virtual reality, it's going to be anything that needs to be created to 
be effective within a physical environment, whether that's a hotel or an office or a laboratory or, or whatever it is. But being able to experience that environment in virtual reality before it is actually existing mm -hmm. becomes more and more important in terms of developing what's going to work well in that environment. Hmm. The idea behind the Tencent Seafront Towers mm -hmm. here in Shenzhen is mm -hmm. to adapt the best of a suburban office campus into mm -hmm. a more vertical format mm -hmm. to a high rise. Mm -hmm. So do you think it's achieving that? Well, certainly having the, uh, the uh, country club activities, if you will, the running track, the swimming pool, all of these things high up in the air connecting the two towers is a very attractive proposition. But what is really interesting is that the, this is the Binhai uh, Two Towers by NBBJ. Binhai, and one area of Shenzhen. Yes. And that is for the, the, uh, the more senior headquarters group of Tencent. So it is somewhat more formal. It needs to be shown to everyone, and that's very, very important. What is really interesting is that Tencent has another two towers in Qianghai. Another area of Another Shenzhen. area of Shenzhen. And they have asked us to take care of working with them to create the effective workplace environment in these two towers. Now these two towers will not be for the headquarters. They will be for Tencent doesn't even know hmm. because they're growing so rapidly. And this is very exciting for us to be able to plan and conceive of a workplace when you don't really know exactly what is going to be happening in that space. Hmm. But they have 1.4 million square feet of two towers, another two towers, and to be able to work very closely with Tencent right on the cutting edge, edge of what is going to be happening next is very exciting. That is exciting. What are some of the conversations you're having if they don't know what the use exactly is going to be? How are you designing it? <laughs> we are looking for common threads of how the young people who are the ones who are attracted to work for Tencent and the ones that what Tencent wants, the innovative and creative young people, how do they work effectively? Not how should they fit into the space. We can create the kind of a work environment that will support that creativity and innovation.